Alright, hi and welcome back to the second episode of how to build a website from scratch. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to uh, complete every element in the head tags. Um, I'm going to show you uh, how to include things so we don't have to use them on every page. Uh, more about that later. And we're probably gonna build a few things uh, in our style sheet. Uh, but I'm not sure if we have enough time for, uh, to cover that uh, right now. So, uh, a few things uh, we need in the head besides the title um, are things like our character set. And I'm going to um, use the most commonly used uh, char set, which is char set is uh, UTF and then this little uh, stripe here 8. And what this does is actually um, the encoding of your um, of your text in the on the website. Um, I can't really name a few examples of other char sets, um, but the UTF-8 uh, almost covers uh, you know every text there is uh, on a normal English website. Uh, so I really recommend using uh, that char set. Um, you might get some problems if. Uh, you know it's set otherwise in your server but um, most of the time this will just do if you want um, a char set on your HTML file um, then of course uh, we have another meta and meta is basically the things that happen behind the screen like uh, uh, the description and what I mean by description is um, the description of your website and that's the little text that appears um, right over here so let's say um, we google YouTube like so I'm sorry now I'm going to YouTube let come on yeah okay um, then this right here I'm sorry this right here is the description so the description of YouTube is share your videos with friends family and the world and I can show you that right over here when we go to the source and we can see that the description is uh, share your videos with friends, family, and the rest of the world. Only it says so here in Dutch. Um, so yeah, let's go back to our code. Um, as you can see, um, oh yeah, so we're going to um, type in description, like so. And we're going, um, I'm sorry, meta type is description like so and the content is what our description is so it should be like so and I'm also going to use the slash right over here um, because we use this slash if we don't have to close uh, have to have anything in between like title slash title this is in between uh, but we don't have that with uh, the, these elements we only have attributes in them so then we can close them off like so all right, so the content will be, um, I don't know, um, this is teach me up portfolio website, like so. All right, so next thing in line is the title, um, but we already have the title for now. Um, and I'm also going to add a few things for Facebook. Um, because Facebook, if you share a website on Facebook, you'll see this little uh, little other uh, description. Um, you see an image and a title. And basically, um, we're going to create another meta thing. And we're going to use property, like so. so. And um, it's OG. Um, uh, I'm not sure what this character is called. Um, title and the content is our title which is portfolio like you can see right over here um, like so uh, and then uh, we're going to close this off and we're going to do the exact same thing for uh, proper C like so with um, the OG type which is content it's a website like so and I'm going to close them off like so, yeah, that's right, all right. Um, 
then we add another Facebook um, meta type, which is image um, property and then OG image, like so. And the content is the URL to the image. So let's say we have an image and in like uh, our folder emg slash facebook underscore image dot uh, jpeg then uh, this is what you would type in um, all right but we don't have an image in there so i also fix that uh, behind the screens later um, then we're going to um, fill in the root or the url which is the meta property is og um, url url uh, content is um, the url of this website so let's say we're building a website that's called um, that is uh, the domain name is www.portfolio.com then we'll type in right here www.portfolio.com if that's your domain uh, domain name like that all right so if your domain name is um, for example, I don't know, teachmeup.com, um, then you have to fill in teachmeup.com right over there. All right, so um, then there's a two more, meta property um, og site underscore uh, name, like so, and that's the content of our name. So let's say we call it, I don't know, um, uh, let's say, our website is called something uh, it's not exactly the title um, but the name so let's say if you're having a, a small company and your name is I don't know um, whatever biscuit uh, you know incorporated or something business uh, a biscuit incorporated then you write over here biscuit incorporated all right like so um, but your title can be different and of course your url can be different so that's why you have a different one for um, site name um, the thing with a uh, property is that it isn't a real um, attribute in uh, html so um, the thing is that if you're having a, um, a html web strict uh, one website um, then it can you know it will give back some errors but we're making a HTML5 website, so we don't have to deal with that thing. And obviously your website will work perfectly, so you don't have to worry about anything. Um, OG, description, and of course, you can guess it, it's the description. This is Teach Me, teach me Up Portfolio website. All right. Now, um, a few more things we need in our head is the link to your style sheet, and that's link rel, which is actually the you know um, uh, related or you know something like that. Um, it's a style sheet, and the hey ref, which is as you can see here a reference into um, the file. Uh, let's say we put it in a folder CSS and we call it uh, style.css then the hey ref would be like so um, then the type i'm sorry the type is um, text the slash css and that will do all right then um, another thing in your head will probably be the fav icon and the fav icon is basically um, let's say we go to youtube this icon right over here is the fav icon it's an icon of 16 times 16 uh, pixels wide and height and that image makes up this image and that's the fav icon it's called uh, fav icon that's it and then the rel is a shortcut icon so let's say we bookmark uh, a page then that icon will appear and it's an image slash x icon like so I'm sorry um, yeah no that's correct um, but yeah that's correct all right so um the hey ref we also need a hey ref and that's uh, probably uh what was it fav icon dot 
ICO uh, and it has to be an, uh, an icon uh, file extension of course because it's an uh, you know it's an icon it's as simple as that uh, now we have a few things and this will make up you know if you don't want to really support Facebook that much then you can just leave this away um, but I strongly don't recommend uh, leaving this away I recommend that you use it as social media uh, social media has a powerful source and you won't with it, want to miss out on all the social uh, you know uh, popularity your site can gain from Twitter or Facebook or whatever you're using um, this time so um, I'm going to create um, in our folder um, let me see in our folder of how to build a scrap blah 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 I'm going to create a folder CSS and I'm going to create a folder for images like so EMG uh, IMG I'm sorry and yeah we're going to create our uh, style sheet in there um, and later put an image for Facebook in there um, what we're going to do now is create a folder with includes e uh, I mean y and c and in this folder we're going to include things so let's say um, we have 500 of pages with um, our navigation bar uh, like so uh, right over this this thing right here um, it will be a pain in the butt if we would have to uh, you know ma create a new page in the navigation bar or whatever and um, you know we have to change it in 500 pages that would be so much trouble and uh, hard work so what we're going to do is um, we're going to create a file called nav.php and basically it can have any name uh, you want to and I, I will edit it for a second hold on Alright, so let's say, um, as you can see, it's still a text document uh, right over here. And um, if that's the case, um, you have to change it to a PHP file. And you could do that by clicking on Organize, Folder and Search Options, go to View, and then you have to search for um, uh, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Uh, remove that, click Apply, and as you can see, the .txt will appear over here and we can convert it to a real PHP file um, so now we're going to edit it and we're going to paste uh, the information of our navigation bar in there and we're going to save it now what we're going to do here is use a little PHP and we're going to include so we're getting that file um, in the folder ink and it's called nav.php so there you have to use the name of the file um, and yeah you know just include it uh, right in there and what this will do is it will put the the code that's in this file right at that spot so if we create um, our 500 pages with this line include navigation bar uh, if we make a, a big change to the f uh, to the system to the navigation bar we only have to change this code and will change instantly on all the 500 pages instead of going through all of them um, like you have to do if this piece of code is on every page so that's a very useful uh, thing to use um, I wanted to show you how uh, we're going to make up our CSS file or style sheet and give our website a little shape but I see that I've run out of time and I'm going to end this episode. Um, if you like this episode, um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you really want to help me out, rate this video. And of course, keep me motivated by uh, asking questions or just, you know, thank me for it in the comment box below. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this uh, video and of course the rest of your day. And I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye.